What is going on, everyone? Just a backpack off of my last video with Manny Machado, and now the Phillies are obviously in play here to go after Bryce Harper, and things are intensifying. People are now getting scared. You see these reports. Bryce Harper, he's uncertain if he wants to play on the Phillies. He's uncertain if he likes the Philadelphia town in general. Is he going to like the city? Is he not? That It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm not buying it. This is a game. They're playing chicken. Now that he's the last player on the market, Scott Boris understands that he has Philadelphia just where he wants them. On the other side, Clem Tack isn't backing down. It's a game of chicken. It's a game of who is going to blink first. Scott Boris won when he did that against Manny Machado. They were both saying, who's going to blink first? Who's going to blink first? Because that opens up the value of the market for the other player. Well, Scott Boris won that one. He's doing the same exact thing with the Phillies. He's not uncertain. Like, it's not the reason. He's unsure. People are saying, well, what if he doesn't play well? He's going to get criticized in that fan base. He doesn't want that. You think Bryce Harper is concerned about playing well? You don't think Bryce Harper has the mentality to know he's good enough to dominate this league? You look at last year and his batting average. Okay, yeah, he struggled at times. I get it. There's no way that Bryce Harper is concerned with playing well and the fans not liking him. That's not the type of player that he is. He knows how good he is. He knows he can thrive in a ballpark like this. So I don't even buy that. Right now it is a game between two guys, Scott Boris and the Phillies organization, and it's who is going to blink first. It's all smoke. It's all smoke. Because Boris knows we're going to offer him whatever he wants. Boris has us where he wants us. He has the ball in his court and he can do whatever he wants. Maybe the Nationals are slowly starting to think they have a chance. Because you hear the 10 years, 300, and what they offered him at the end of the season, and it's still in that ballpark. Would he come to Philadelphia, Philadelphia division rival for a similar amount of money than he can get going back to Washington? We're going to look at Clentac's statements here, and one thing that I noticed is it opens the door for that. Absolutely, it opens the door. Playing hardball back opens the door for teams like Washington to step in. But it's it's been intensifying throughout the entire week, the communication between the two. Not all of a sudden, after Manny Machado signs, it's, oh, well, I don't know if it's a good fit anymore. That's not how it works. It's just a game. They're playing the game. And I kind of respect that Clentax steps up and says, I'm not letting you walk all over us. Now it can backfire, but I respect it. So let's take a look at what Matt Clentax said. And he was talking to the media about how once 300 mil went to Manny Machado, he said, okay, we're out. We're not interested in that type of money for Manny Machado. And then he stated that to the media. And then it came out to Bryce Harper. Well, is $300 million too much for him? And he said no comment. No comment. Which is definitely the right way to go there. He said, I'll say this. Every player is different. They bring different strengths, weaknesses, risks, rewards, etc. So to me, that says he's willing to go over 300 for someone like Bryce Harper, but not for Manny Machado. But when it comes to Bryce or Bust, here's the report. This is Matt Clentac's words. I'm confident that will be the perception. I think very similar to the way we approach Manny Machado discussions, we will continue to proceed with other free agents that make sense for this franchise. We have to remember that there will be other free agents after this offseason. There will be plenty of opportunities in the future to spend and allow to make our team better. We cannot allow ourselves to be put in a position where we have to be something at all costs, where we have to do something at all costs. There's a significant cost that we'll be willing to pay to add, but we will have to be willing to walk away. See, this is where I see him making this statement back to Scott Boris. We're not giving you all the power. If you want to keep fighting with us, fine. We will walk away. Some people are happy with that, saying that Bryce Harper is not worth 300 to 350 mil. I, I disagree with that. I'm, I, what sucks is I understand that Scott Boris has the power. So it's either... you. <laughs> You get sucked in and you do what he wants or you don't get Bryce Harper. And after the offseason that they've been stating, the stupid money, you kind of have to you kind of have to budge a little. Now, I'm not going anywhere near that 400 number, but 350, you, you might have to. 
you might have to overpay just a little to go out and get someone like Bryce Harper, but he helps. Just taking a look at his stats on his off year. Keep in mind, this is an off year for Bryce Harper. 34 home runs in that ballpark compared to what he can do here in Philadelphia. And he hit 250. It's not all about batting average nowadays, though, with all the analytics involved. His OPS, 889. It's a no-brainer. He helps the depth of this baseball team. Am I a little concerned? Maybe. Like I said, it opens the doors. Now, if he gets outbid by San Diego, now I'm having an issue. That can never happen. Apparently, they still have enough money and they still have a, a willingness to go out and grab someone like Harper. If we get outbid by San Diego, we're going to have a problem. This opens the door for Washington. I would still be very disappointed, but uh, I get it. I'm not falling for the trap. I don't believe that all of a sudden, after Manny Machado signs, that now it's a problem. Now he doesn't like the city of Philadelphia. Now the city is going to be too harsh on him. After all this, the 10 minutes after Manny Machado signs. We're talking about Scott Boris. If you thought it would be easy and done by today after Manny signed, well, you're kidding yourself. This is what he does. He holds out. He has a track record of doing it. This is what he does. And we're just sitting through it. And it's the pain of it. At the end of the day, someone has to blink first. At the end of the day, there's going to be one party that says, okay, we give in. In reality, it looks like the Phillies have the best match for him. For what Scott Boris and Bryce Harper are looking for, it seems like the Phillies have exactly that. But Scott knows the game. Scott understands. Now that Manny's off the board, he can maybe get uh, some other teams poking their head in, which would creep the Phillies' number up and up and up. And that's where we're at. But Klentak's setting the tone and saying, we'll we're, we're walk away. We will walk away. And I want to know what your thoughts are down below on that. If you're Klentak, do you just say, okay, you know what? Screw it. We're getting sucked in and we have to do it or we're going to lose them. Do you play hardball back? What do you think about his comments? It's interesting. It's an interesting approach. My thing is you can't lose him. You can't lose him. So I respect the fact that he's going hard on it. But at some point you need to realize uh, we, we need to get this guy. And for people to think he's not worth this amount of money, that we'll go three fifty. I'm not paying anything higher than three seventy five. But three fifty, you, you go get him. You go get him. It's just it, it's a joke to think that. All of a sudden, and this is the mor the moral of the story here, all of a sudden, because Manny Machado signs, it's not a fit. You can't be reading into every little media thing. You need to use the brain. You got to realize. You got to assess the situation. His job as an agent is to make Manny Ma or to make Bryce Harper the most amount of money possible because that makes him more money. So if you're in Scott Boris's position, he's <laughs> he's doing this perfectly. It's frustrating on the other side, but he's doing his job and he's executing it perfectly. It opens the door for other teams, but right now we're playing hardball. But that tells me something. Something in my gut says there's a reason why Klintak is playing this game. Because he's not buying it. He's not buying it that the Nationals can outbid the Phillies. Hear me out. If, if the offer for the Phillies... That Scott Boris wants is 10, 10 years, 400 mil, but no one else is offering anything higher than 325. <laughs> like, at what point would the Phillies just say, you know what, Scott Boris, you're right, I'm going to go 400, when there's a huge gap of 75 mil in play. And I think that's where this is at. Boris is just on the extreme one side saying, well, 10, 10 years, 400. While there's a huge $100 million gap in between. And the Phillies are saying, we're not doing that. It seems like the Phillies are just trying to not outbid themselves. And that's what Bo Scott Boris is trying to get them to do. That's my opinion on it. Does it mean he's definitely coming here? No. Does this open up the door for other teams like I said a bunch of times? Yes, it does. It opens up the door. But that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Don't listen and don't buy every single thing you hear. It's all a game. Who can? Who is going to bite first? Who is going to blink first? It's just a competition between Scott Boris and the Phillies organization right now. And both teams are being stubborn about it. And that's where we're at. But for all this to just suddenly break, suddenly, oh, well, isn't, that, isn't that interesting? It makes sense. It makes sense. It's a game.
It's a game. So let me know what you think down below on this. It, it is frustrating as a fan. Don't get me wrong. He is worth the money. Don't get me wrong. Does this have the potential of, of blowing up in our faces? Maybe. But I don't believe it. I still think Bryce Harper is coming to Philadelphia and it's all smoke. Smoke to make the most amount of money he can get. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.